y'all friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by. So I have had my graph paper out. I've been a little bit crazy and off off the board a little bit uh, for the last couple weeks. I've been making a lot of kind of Afghan squares and just designing some things on paper for a while. And I made three of them. At first I started out with my Afghan square of my heart, which we're going to learn the popcorn stitch today, by the way. So that's really fun. It's a really cute little stitch. And I made a heart. You can see it's raised a little bit. It's super fun. Super cute. And while I was working on this, of course, Evie says, if you made that into a star, that would be the coolest and you could make me a sweater and I'd wear it all the time. So I had to make a star. So there's my star. That was really easy. Really, really easy. And I wanted to make a baby footprint. Everybody knows a baby or somebody who's going to have a baby. I couldn't decide which one I was going to make first. So I'm going to make all three and I'm going to let my editor decide what order they go in because I like them all very much. So we're going to make the star right now. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks! All these were made with Karen Simply Soft, so I'm going to use just another color of it because I think I have a little bit of everything. I love this product. It's really fun, especially for blankets. It's super soft. It's really easy to work with. So all these squares are 25 by 25, so we're going to start out with chaining 26. And do loosely because we're going to work in our back bumps. And there's my 26. So now I have a chain of 26. And I did it nice and loosely. And I forgot to tell you, I'm using a 5 millimeter. That's what Karen Simply Soft requests. That's what their suggestion is on the product band. So that's what I'm using for these squares. So that it just works up nicely. You'll be very consistent with a, any 4 weight yarn. You'll be able to just use a 5 or a 5.5 all the way through. And your squares should match up if you wanted to make a patchwork anything. It'd be fun. All right, so we're going to go into the back bumps. Just turn our chain over and all of these back bumps you see here, we're going to work one single crochet into every one of them. So with a chain of 26, we will end up with 25 single crochets. And I'll meet you back at the other end when I have my 25 done. Right, and here's my last stitch. Yay. Now those back bumps are kind of a pain in the butt. They take a few more minutes, or a few more seconds really, to work through, but it makes such a nice finished edge that I really kind of a stickler about doing that, especially on squares. If you're going to join all these together in some patchwork way, you want to have a finished edge just as nice as your very last row. Your first row should be as pretty as your last row. Alright, now on my graph, which I have right here, it's just I have, it's not professionally um, printed yet. It's still on paper. I haven't put it into my computer programs yet. But right now, that was row one. So row two is a chain one turn our work and do the same thing again. Just a single crochet all the way down. 25 single crochets. Easy peasy. I'm doing a popcorn stitch every other row is single crochets so it works up pretty fast because the single crochets are kind of a no-brainer. I probably can single crochet in my sleep. I probably have done that before. <laughs> and my last two single crochets, this is row two. I catch that last one. There we go. There's row two. There we go. Cute. All right, now we get to do the fun stuff. We get to learn how to do a popcorn stitch. And this is row three. So in order to do, and we're making this star. So we are right about here. But it works up pretty fast. Okay, we're going to chain one, turn our work, and the next, the first four stitches are all going to be a single crochet. One, two, three, four, and now I get to make a popcorn stitch. And this is my modified one because I thought they were a little bit too big for such a tiny square to do 
full double crochets. So I'm using half double crochets. So what we're going to do is put five half double crochets in this in this next stitch. So you're going to yarn over, yarn over, pull through all three. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Now the tricky part. You have to pull this up and let your, take out your hook and let your let your working yarn just hang for just a second because we're going to go back to our first half double crochet. One, two, three, four, and number five. And we're going to go back into that stitch, put our working yarn back on. There's our loop is back on. And pull that through and chain one to close. Now we have this big bobble poofy thing but it's not quite the same as a bobble or a puff stitch. It's a little bit poofier even. And that's why I'm using half double crochets because I think the double crochets were a little bit too big. A little bit too big for what I was working with here with such a tiny square. Alright, there's our very first popcorn stitch. Yay! Okay, the next two stitches are single crochet. So you just go right into a single crochet. Boom. One. And two. And we get to do another popcorn right here. So it's exactly the same thing. In our next stitch, we're going to do five half double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Whoopsie. And five. There's my five. And we're going to take our hook out of our working loop. Count back five. One, two, three, four, five. There's our first half double crochet. Go through him. Put our working yarn loop back on. And pull through from the back. Chain one to close. Now there's another poof. So that's nice. We just did this little part right here. See how fast that is? Now in between these parts, I have nine single crochets. Super easy. There's eight and nine and another after our nine single crochets, we get to make another popcorn stitch. There's two, three, four, and five. Let's pull out just a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. Back through the top of our first half double crochet, working loop back on our hook, pull through from the back and chain one to close. So we have popcorn and this this side is exactly the same as the other side. It's pretty symmetrical. So we've got two single crochets in between our popcorns. One, two, and another popcorn. And five. There's our five popcorn or our five half double crochets. So it's my modified way of making a popcorn stitch, but it's not quite as bulky, not quite as big. So pull out our hook. One, two, three, four, fifth one back here is our very first half double crochet. Working yarn back on our hook. Pull through from the back and chain one to close close up our popcorn ball. There, yay! And our last four stitches are easy peasy, single crochet. One, two, three, and four. There's our first row. See how quickly this is working up already. And now we chain one, turn our work. So row four is just single crochets all the way back. So 
I will show you how to identify where you need to go in the back of your popcorn. So there's one, two, three, four, and then right in here, you see we had two single crochets right here and here in between our popcorns, but we want to get a hold of this popcorn guy. So right in here, right in the back of the stitch, right there is where we're going to put our single crochet because he only gets one. So we can keep our stitch count. And that will do the two single crochets that were in between our popcorns. And then we find this little sidebar right here again, the top of our popcorn stitch. Single crochet through him. And now there's the nine in between. always want to make sure you keep your stitch count for whatever you're supposed to be having. I'm supposed to have 25. Don't want to add or subtract a stitch because then it won't be square anymore. There's the one right, whoopsie, I forgot to show you, right here and behind that popcorn stitch. Let's go in. There's our single crochet and there's the two in between. And here's our last popcorn stitch. You'll be able to find the loop that you're looking for, it's kind of sideways and it's kind of by itself. Right there. Single crochet and then our last four. So there's our popcorn. You can see how much that, how much texture that gives. Those are huge. But the double crochet was even bigger. So that's why I'm going with half doubles. I don't want them to be too bulky. All right, so we're on row five. We get to make more popcorn. So chain one, turn your work. And this time it's the first five our single crochets before we start making our popcorns. So there's one, two, three, four and five and we get to make a popcorn so five half double crochet and count back five one two three four there's our first half double crochet our working yarn is back on our hook, pull through the back and chain one to close. And now four single crochets before our next popcorn. One, two, three, and four. And now we get to do another popcorn. my five stitches one two three four and five so there's my first half double crochet yarn back on pull through chain one to close and we're right in here so the next three stitches are single crochet and then a popcorn And there's number five. One, two, three, four, five. And chain one to close. Four in between, just like it was right over here. Four single crochets. One, two, 
three, four, and a popcorn. And there's five. Counting back one, two, three, four, and five. Pull through and chain one to close and finish off our row with single crochets. So there we go. We've got all this done already. It's really, really fast. Remember now, in between every popcorn row, there is just a row of single crochet, so that's what we're going to do. Chain one, turn our work, and single crochet, make sure you still have an, the proper stitch count. So when you come to your popcorn stitch, it only gets the one single crochet. And I will show you right now, this little sidebar right here is where you get your, side, your single crochet. And then I'll meet you down at the end in just a second. That is my last stitch. My last one on that row. And you can see how it takes, when you do your row of single crochets, it really makes the popcorns poof out and holds them in their place so they're not kind of floppy. Holds them right where they're supposed to be. So we are right here. And now you should have the hang of a popcorn stitch by now, but now we'll just finish the star. And this is row seven with chain one, turn our work, and the first six are single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then a popcorn, which is five half doubles. And then in between our popcorns, this one is five stitches. One, two, five single crochets. And a popcorn. Five stitches again in between. One, two, three, four, five, and a popcorn stitch. And our last six stitches to make this symmetrical. Six, five, five, and six in between all of our popcorns. So these are six single crochets at the end. can see here how these are poofing up. When we do our single crochet row behind it, they'll poof out instead of up. So that's what time it is. It is chain one, turn your work, and do your single crochets all the way across. 
and I'll meet you at the end. And there's my last single crochet behind my popcorn row. It's already starting to look like a star. All right, our next popcorn row is easy. Seven single crochets, a popcorn, nine single crochets, a popcorn, and then seven single crochets to finish off our row. So here we go, one, and our last seven are single crochets. So it's seven, nine, and seven, with popcorns in between. And now we're done with that row. Row nine is complete. Chain one, turn your work, and a row of single crochets, keeping your stitch count at 25. And I'll meet you at the end of that. And 25. And we'll chain one and turn our work and get ready for our next row of popcorn. All right, our next popcorn row is row 11. We're already half done, we're right in here. So we have five singles and then a popcorn, and then 13 singles and a popcorn, and then our final five. So we're at five, 13, and five for this row in between our popcorns, with popcorns in between. Five, 13, and five. And there's my last stitch. Now it's time for our single crochet row to poof out our popcorn. So chain one, turn your work and 25 single crochets all the way down and I'll meet you at the end for our next row of popcorn. There's my last stitch array. And chain one and turn our work so we're ready to row, ready to rock with our next row of popcorn. And that one is three, 17 and three with popcorns in between. So the first three, popcorn, 17, popcorn, and three. And there's three more stitches, one, two, three. Single crochets. So this one was three, popcorn, 17, popcorn, and three. Now we'll chain one, turn our work, and do our 25 single crochets to pop out our popcorn. And I'll meet you for our next row of popcorns in just a second. And my last two, one, and two. There we go. Got our single crochets done. See, the back side just doesn't look like much at all. It's all pretty much looks like single crochets. But the other side is very poofy. So chain one, turn our work, and let's work on our next row of popcorn. Right, this is the busy row, right here. And then everything else is pretty simple. So it goes two single crochets and a popcorn. close and we're going to do four for these four in a row but there is a single crochet in between each one of them right in here one and a single crochet popcorn single popcorn single popcorn so that's what we're at right now so I want a single crochet and another popcorn and one single crochet, and another popcorn. And we have three done, so I want to put in a fourth 
this with a single crochet in between our puffs or our popcorns and now our one more popcorn in that line chain one to close. Right here we have these four and then in between here is seven and then we do the exact same thing again. So seven single crochets and then we do our every other popcorn single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now we start our little line of four popcorns. Chain one to close, a single crochet in between, and then another. Another popcorn. Single crochet in between, and here comes popcorn number three. Single crochet in between. And there's our last little popcorn. And our last stitches to the end are single crochets. So that was the only really complicated row with all of those bobbles right here. All these popcorns. That was the only one that's hard. Everything else is so simple. You can really draw anything that you wanted to. You have some grid paper, some graph paper, you can draw anything. Just make sure that you leave yourself every other row is a Every other row is a single crochet so that you can get back to your popcorns. You can draw anything you want and line up your popcorns. It's super fun. Designing with graph paper is really fun. Chain one, turn our work and do our little row of 25 single crochets all the way down. And we're almost done, game. And last stitch in my single crochet row. Chain one, turn our work. Let's get ready for our next row of popcorn and we're almost done. This one is so easy. It's nine single crochets, a popcorn, five single crochet, popcorn, and nine. So nine, five, and nine with popcorns in between. Eight and nine. Again, it was nine, popcorn, five, popcorn, nine. And chain one, turn your work, and a row of 25 single crochets.
last single crochet and chain one turn our work so we're ready for our for our next row of our popcorn stitches this one is 10 popcorn 3 popcorn and 10 10 single crochets of popcorn 3 single crochets of popcorn and 10 again My last stitch, my last single crochet. So again, this was 10 popcorn, three popcorn, and 10. Almost done. We're way up here. We're way up here already. Okay, chain one, turn your work, and do your 25 single crochets behind your popcorns. And my last single crochet. Chain one, turn my work so we can work on the next part of our point. Only a couple rows left. So this one is 11 popcorn, one popcorn, and 11. Notice that they always add up to 25. One. Here we go. My last single crochet in this popcorn row. Chain one. Turn our work and a row of single crochets all the way down. The last stitch in my single crochet row. Chain one, turn my work. Now we're on our very last, this is row 23 out of 25, but this is our last popcorn row. So there's 12 single crochets, a popcorn right here and then 12 on the other side. Again, notice they add up to 25. And there's my last stitch in my last popcorn row. That's row 23. Chain one, turn our work. Single crochet all the way down behind our, bo our popcorns. last stitch in that row that was 24 chain one turn our work and our final row because I told you this is 25 by 25 the last row is just a row of single crochet all the way to the end and then you can fasten off and have your beautiful square this would be cute if you're making like a patchwork cardi and it's just big squares this one gives a little bit of texture. You can just pop in a couple of these little stars, which is apparently what I will be doing. So that's what Evie wants. I'm not gonna make every one of them a star. I think that would be a little bit too, too much texture if they were all stars. But they will be strategically placed around the Cardi, I guess. Two more stitches last stitch single crochet done hooray just pull out a little bit and let's snip snip and your star is complete now remember I used a five millimeter hook on this one I believe I used a four millimeter hook when I was making, when I was designing these that's why they have a little bit more curl but when you attach everything together it wouldn't matter anyway. They won't curl anymore. That happens occasionally, especially when you're working with the stuff that has the glittery type stuff woven into it. Isn't it cute? It worked up pretty fast. Just make a few of these. You can make yourself a beautiful cardi, a cute baby blanket, a fun little throw. Change the colors up. Be super cute. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and come back soon. Thanks. Bye.